of uh, transformation happened in the healthcare so using of uh, software so now the device uh, latest device come out uh, 3d uh, ct computational topography or uh, say mri scanning advanced scanning and using of uh, latest functionality so but now using of software it will be helpful for the physician so mostly so how to diagnose and how to predict the uh, diseases so which will be harmful for the physician so unless otherwise uh, this kind of software is not available then it's a uh, total uh, responsible for the physician the so collecting huge volume of uh, data the medical data or uh, images and they have to decide on that as what to do but uh, now that present uh, the latest programming language uh, ai ml or the python or deep learning so it is useful for predictive analytics for the physician so in such case we can directly relate it to the employment opportunity for computer science student so now we are talking about image analytics uh, both electronics uh, computer science mechanics and even biology so all uh, different interdisciplinary involved so all put together their uh, role is uh, much more vital in the image analytics so through uh, scan now we are talking about the general phenomena so if we go for the hospital so without uh, disturbing our body they are taking the entire scan they know what is happening inside the body so this kind of advanced technology helpful for the physician so to save the life the final objective will be the wellness so for the wellness of human being we do all kinds of advancement in technology so writing of programming so what to do the final objective will be the whole human should be live uh, healthy so that is a major aspect but at present uh, today we have uh, any ma'am from indonesia it's a very uh, more happy to associate with uh, any ma'am so accepted our invitation she is present with us today she is also extended her uh, invitation to fruitful association in the future also definitely we'll have fruitful association ma'am and uh, no need to introduce uh, the second guest she is very familiar in uh, computer science engineering related so she had visited all academic institution in chennai and across all india so dr dorin robin uh, no need to introduce i think uh, no introduction so such kind of a uh, familiar figure in uh, computer science engineering related field so we are happy today uh, madam with us in uh, ramaburam that too for college of science and humanities so thank you ma'am for accepted our invitation to be with us so we also uh, extend our invitation to be fruitful association in the future also for the development of student as well as the faculty so we'll talk about we'll discuss and we'll do so what extent we can do to improve the quality of uh, student as well as the faculty and the uh, image the right topic but uh, my uh, concern is so it's now uh, the department of computer science is organizing not uh, department of biotechnology or not uh, department of physiology is organizing so more focused on software and uh, you can uh, detailed explain about in this two days workshop so how this kind of a programming language helpful for the uh, student community and what is the bright scope available in the near future once anybody knows uh, python in a well versed in a good manner so what are the employment opportunity available now our student does not know that uh, in healthcare so big potential is available so in future uh, so there are multi million dollar uh, demand is available in healthcare so once we have to train our student with the help of the eminent personality as a guiding force we can train our student and we can channelize our student they can also take up the employment in the uh, medical field so which is enormous and only few people only aware that so there is a big scope in that uh, people for the software professionals so in this uh, i very happy so the computer science department organizing taking this as an a topic of workshop and they are giving the hands on experience to our uh, student so as well as the participants and definitely this workshop will lead you to the development and you can uh, improve your employability skill set that is a fundamental objective of that uh, this kind of workshop so once again i extend my sincere thanks and gratitude to our two guests eminent guests those are accepted and they are with us we are also eagerly waiting the valuable insight they are going to share today for us and also my sincere appreciation to the department head and the faculty member we have taken tireless effort organizing this uh, two day so that was that international relevance uh, workshop and hope a lot of participants uh, they join 
on time and they are with us so make this workshop as you know fruitful so take lot of takeaways from this workshop for the further research or further development so thank you once again all the best best wishes thank you ma'am thank you thank you sir i now call upon dr g v streechandran sir assistant professor department of computer science to introduce the chief guest for the day thank you mr udaya kumar good morning i am over enjoyed to take the opportunity to introduce our chief guest of the day she is none other than dr hini atono she is the current director of international affairs and corporate office catholic university indonesia she is an associate professor in the department of english faculty of language and arts catholic university she has received her ug degree in the english department from gaja mada university it's one of the prominent and oldest university in the indonesia she got master and doctor degree in english education from samrang state university in the year 2015 she has also joined sandwich program in wogyu state university usa and also in the year 2019 she got a leadership professional training in hardware university and also she has published seven books and more than 30 research papers in national and international levels and also her current position as a director of international affairs and corporate office she was associate director of research and community service center catholic university and the dean of the faculty of language and arts on behalf of computer science department we once again welcome you ma'am thank you thank you sir i now call upon our today's chief guest dr heni hatono director of international office and cooperation office catholic university indonesia to give away the special address thank you the honorable principals of srm institutes of science and technology ramapuram campus chennai dr sundar and uh, also the head departments of the computer science dr umarani the workshop coordinator ms belina vijay shera and ms priya the speaker the, uh, today's speaker dr dorens robin the big family of college of science and humanities the departments of computer and science srm institutes of science and technology faculty and all scholars the participants of this international workshops a very good morning and warm greetings from indonesia first of all let me introduce myself I'm Dr. Heni Hartono. I'm the director of the International Affairs and Cooperation Office, Sukhya Pranata Catholic University. Yeah, maybe it is not easy to pronounce the name of our university. Yeah, so you can just uh, call it as SCU. I feel honored to be here among all of the audience and the workshop participants. we congratulate the computer science and the committee for organizing and conducting this international workshops ladies and gentlemen a workshops particularly workshop for professional developments is the driving force for all faculties and scholars to upgrade themselves and also to catch up with the latest advancements in their field and the topic of this today international workshop is relevant with the need of smart technology in medical world the artificial intelligence is there not to replace us as human beings but to augment our abilities and also to make us better at what we do right now ladies and gentlemen our university the scu we have a model talenta pro patria et humanitate nurture develop and use your talents 
your ability for humanity. I hope this workshop will help you sharpen your talents and also prepare you for greater actions of humanity. Finally, I wish you all a fruitful workshop. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I now request Mrs. Belina VJ Sara, Aston Professor, Department of Computer Science, to introduce the speaker for the day. A very good morning. I am very much privileged having an opportunity to introduce our beloved resource person, Dr. D. Dorian Robin, ma'am, the Director of Computational Intelligence Research Foundation. She has received her B.Tech in Information Technology from Madras University, Chennai, M.A. in Computer Science and Engineering from Anna University, and Ph.D. in Computer Science and Engineering from Anna University. Her research interests include parallel and distributed computing, peer-to-peer -peer computing, grid computing, cloud computing, and big data analytics. She was professor and head at Loyola ICAM College of Engineering and Technology in the Department of Information Technology, an assistant professor at the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Chennai Teaching Resource Associate at the Department of Computer Science, Anna University, Chennai, an assistant professor at the Department of Information Technology, SSN College of Engineering. She has published about 30 papers in international and national journals and conferences. She is a life member of ISTE. She is a reviewer for Computer and Electrical Engineering Journal and Future Generation Computer Science Journal. She had been the resource person for workshop and digital classroom, big data analytics using Hadoop, data science using Python, machine learning, deep learning, cognitive computing, software testing. We welcome you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I now call upon Dr. Dorin Robin, founder and director of CARF, to give away the special address to our participants. Very good morning to one and all. I'm extremely glad to meet you all today on this new platform on image analytics and healthcare, especially using Python. Okay, Python is one of the renowned languages it could be used for anybody. It's school students, all right? And uh, for people in mechanical in mechanical students, electronics, even one, one premier TV channel people have got trained in Python and they were using it for their uh, animations, right? So Python has uh, no strict rules that only this sector can learn, this sector can learn, anybody, those have got a passion to learn. You can apply it in all fields, right from the games that we develop in computer games into the boilers used in industries, all right, even for natural language processing, it's it's an ocean, okay? Python can be applied in any team, any field according to your interest, but only one thing, if the building should be strong, what, what is the basic need that we need to have? If the building should be strong, what is the basic need that we need to have? It's, it's, can one of you unmute or put your answers on your chat? What is needed to have a stronger building? Anybody can answer. It is going to be an interactive session. All right, it's, anyone? If a building should be strong, what is needed? It's, We have got what is, yeah. Thank you, Felicia Rajati, ma'am. Thank you, Sandana Kanan, sir. Thank you, Dina Dayalan, sir. It's basement should be strong. So, here, when you learn the basement of Python, very strong. Once you learn, you can start climbing it up and you can apply it on all fields. There are many packages that is available in Python. So this today and tomorrow, we are going to focus on how are we going to take an image? What are the operations that we can do to an image? And eventually how we could be able to predict some disease from an image, okay? So nowadays, you know, this pandemic, all the doctors, 
from live session, they have also moved to video calls, right? Most of you would have experienced like using video call show, where is your problem? Then they detect it and then they give it back, right? Because this pandemic, after, during this pandemic, yeah, this image analytics has got a lot of open uh, research issues available, which has to be addressed. Once you learn on the basic technology, you will be able to do or detect a disease or whatever. So, so to, during the session, I'll be telling you uh, small, small assignments, what you'll be finding it out and we'll be sharing it out. So it's, um, and even during this pandemic, even without traveling from Indonesia, we have people here from Ramaburam campus and people from various places we are here today. And during this pandemic, I trained more than 4,000 faculties around the world, how to take digital classroom. Most of them, the Zoom and Google Meet were new. I started evangelizing this digital classroom when I stepped out from my teaching sector in 2017. I'd been around the world training people on digital classroom. That time people why? but now everybody, we are using online classroom. Even news, yesterday's news, they said, or even colleges, they should have only online classrooms. So thank you for the invite. We'll have a beautiful session today and tomorrow by the grace of God. Thank you all once again. Thank you, ma'am. With that, we come to uh, come to the end of the session. I now request Mrs. Priya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, to deliver the oath of thanks. I thank our uh, principal, Dr. Sundar sir, and Doran Green ma'am, and Henry Horden. Ma'am, and our uh, HOD, Umarani, ma'am, and our, uh, those who are participating in this workshop. I thank you once again. Thank you for all. Uh, thank you, Priya, ma'am. Now I hand over the session to Dr. Doreen Robin, ma'am. Yes, you can continue, ma'am. Thank you. One minute, ma'am. Oh, one minute, sorry. Uh, okay. Hani, Hani ma'am, thank you so much uh, for uh, your presence, ma'am. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, we will uh, contact you later, ma'am. Definitely, uh, we do something. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. Um, I wish you all will have a full workshop during these two days and I should apologize. I cannot accompany you the whole workshop because I have a class and a meeting after this. Yeah, but once again, congratulations for yes. this. Uh, Thank you for coming our country. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank please, ma'am. Mm. Yes. Uh, thanks to the. Thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks to the principal of the uh, university for having invited us to give a talk on uh, the image analytics using Python. A special thanks to the principal, a uh, convener, the H. Hody. The, uh, Dr. Ria Suma, ma'am, a special thanks to Belina, ma'am. Uh, I've never met her in person, but she said, yeah, I had been uh, seeing you uh, during this pandemic. I had given more than 50 plus online webinars to most of the people known or unknown to me, but it was great to get connected uh, with you all. All right. And a special thanks to uh, ma'am, Henny, ma'am, Dr. Henny, for having joining us to this session. Okay, so 
we are going to see about image analytics using healthcare. How many of you uh, know about uh, Python? Yes or no? You can give your responses in the chat session, please. Yes. You, I don't know what's the name, yes. Nityananda Vasagam. If it is yes, you can type in yes. If it is no, you can type in no. Aware, but have not used, all right. I want response. This today's session will be a fully interactive session. I want everybody to interact, please. No, ma'am? Okay. Ma'am, we have not given a privilege to unmute, ma'am. So we will do now, ma'am. Okay. Themselves. Okay. So though you know about it or those you don't know about it also, it is okay. It'll be going on at the session. I'm just asking a few questions to get yourself to get communicative so that lets me know that you are able to interact. Whenever you have a question, you can put it on to the chat. Okay. So we are going to see about how to use image analytics using Python. All right. So this is my uh, mail ID. If you wish to have a contact, it's during CIRF at the red gmail.com and my mobile number is 9003021355. All right. So today and tomorrow we are going to see how to do the basics of how are we going to work on with the image. All right. Today our entire world is full of data and images yes how many of you agree with that there's everywhere you take data right everywhere we take data and we have lots of data and images okay i'm going to ask you a question you have for the past three months okay for the past three months how many of you have taken pictures in your mobile how many of you have printed it or just you are just having the image on your mobile Whether you have printed, you know, the photo print of your image, or just we take clicking, clicking, clicking little uh, several pictures and just we have it in a mobile. Able to hear me? You can give your responses in the chat, or if you want, you can only clicks, no prints. Thank you. Sadhana Kannan, ma'am. I want everybody to respond. Just took photos. All right. I don't know whose name is you. They've just given the name as you. That's okay. Ushama, thank you. Thank you, Ushama. Others, please. We have, you see, in our mobile itself, we have taken lots and lots and lots of pictures. We just click it and keep it. All right. And then even if you are using, how many of you are using Google Photos? Do you use Google Photos, yes or no? Lot of image analytics algorithms are running behind the Google Photos. You and me can create an app like Google Photos, which categorizes, which takes the features, and then just like that, they cluster it according to the names. Okay. How many of you? Yes. Dina Dairan, sir, you said yes. Okay. Even you see Google Photos, it itself will cluster all the photos of your face features. Yes or no? Have you experienced it? If you have not experienced, just try to download a new mobile called Google Photos, right? Yes, thank you, Harshini. Okay, yeah, you can see it on the Google Photos, right? When you see the Google Photos, which means there are a lot of algorithms that is running behind Google Photos, which extracts the features of your eyes, the nose and the mouth, okay, yours, your eyebrows, and then then it says this is the person and then it's clusters, right? So image processing, we are going to basically work on how however, there are lots and lots of images. Even you go to a doctor, they give lots of like MRI, PET scan, CT scan, all those are images, right? So image plays a vital role in a healthcare domain. What are the images in the healthcare sector that you could see? Can we have examples? When you take into particular the healthcare domain, 
All right. What kind of images you think that we could do an analysis? Answers or chat, or you can unmute and speak. Let's be a little faster, please. OCT images, fundas images, others. Quick, please. It could be an MRI image, all right? It could be an X ray, yes? It could be a PET scan, yes? All right. So there are, yes, CT, MRI, thank you, thank you. CT scan, pathology, anatomy, excellent, right? There are different, different data that you could do in analytics. Okay. And you know, during this pandemic, what is that we started wearing more? We have almost completed one year. Yes. What is that you wear on your face after this pandemic? Yes, thank you, Usha Mamad's mask. Okay, and we were working in our research organization before that. Uh, when you go into a place, before that, you have, yeah, thank you, thank you, Sita Ma. You have a fingerprint to detect whether you are the person you're permitted to enter inside. There are some organizations who just go and stand before the camera. The camera will capture your features and it has its own image on its database. If it's totally matching, then the door opens and then you can enter it. Okay. So using the facial recognitions, okay, of your features, it will recognize this person is an employee of my concern, then the door opens, it is all automated. Then we started working after this pandemic, as most of you said, yes, Abhira me ma'am, yes, Sita ma'am, Sadhana, Kannan ma'am, Harshini ma'am, everybody you said you started wearing masks, right? When we start wearing the mask, then we again started working with the facial algorithm where it extracts the eye and the eyebrows, masking it and still we are able to detect. So once it has been permitted, then it opens. So image processing is a process of you analyzing and manipulating a digital image primarily, improving its quality for extracting some information that could be put into use. Okay, if you take an MRI of a tumor, you have to detect or segment where the exact tumor is and the intensity of it. Okay, the final level of condition can be given by the doctor, but the pre processing can be done using image analytics. As we progress into years, they say even with the image, you'll we'll be able to detect the intensity of your disease, okay, before moving on to the doctor. But we, I don't believe that because uh, humans cannot be replaced, right? It's all programmized. Let's. So image processing, we hear, as you said, nobody has taken digital printers. It's a manipulation of visual data and we have to derive data from it, okay? However, when it comes to application, this bridges the gap between how we think things and how devices digitally view things. We see things in a different way, okay? And how the system, so there is a lot of training process that is done into a system okay which does okay which does and extracts information from it make it to be usable for us to understand from the image okay lots and lots of applications are coming out of using especially into healthcare you know as different diseases are coming as different diseases are coming a lot of analytics are being done Okay, our visual see the world, we see a world in a different way, but computer sees everything in a different way. Okay, image processing helps us to merge, uh, merge to and remove some of the difference between and how they move, how they interact, how are we going to see. Okay, so today's session, we'll be seeing about how are the basic analysis that we are doing it, what are the basic packages that we have in Python, as we have got a different set of people, uh, one uh, knowing Python, one they know basic, some of them they're new, I'll blend my entire hands-on session with all the three. Okay, so these are the basic analytics that we need to do, either it's image or it is data. Okay. First is a descriptive analytics, okay? What happened when seeing a picture, you start working with your descriptive analytics, okay? So that's the first level of analytics that we do. Second is a diagnostic analytics, okay? Okay, why did it happen? The analytics, at the end of the analytics, we need to give an answer, why did this happen? 
And the fourth, third level is called a predictive analytics, what will happen? And the final level is how can we make it happen as perspective, uh, perspective analytics. All right. So these are the different levels of analytics that we do either using a data or an image, okay? Whatever is a data set. Say for example, uh, how, when you visit a doctor, say for example, if you have a fever, when you go and visit your doctor, well, what, what is the interaction that goes between you and the doctor? Can one of you unmute and speak? Oh, you're not able to unmute. Okay, you can give your answers on the chat, please. When you go and visit your doctor, yes, yeah, somebody has unmuted. If you're able to unmute, you please unmute and speak. When you go and visit your doctor for the first time that you have some disease, what do you what would be your interaction? Yes. We used to tell our body condition. Okay. And mm. then the doctor will ask some so, questions. Right? And then, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Then the and doctor, based upon the symptoms, uh, decide. Uh, then the doctor decides doctor whether decide. he or she will be having this set of, uh, uh, yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sita, ma'am, for your good interaction. So you go to the doctor, okay, and uh, symptoms, history of patients, uh, Joe Srina, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Now, this is what is called descriptive analytics, okay? You go visit your doctor. And you say to the doctor, you know, I have a fever, I have a headache, I have a body ache. You say whatever that you're experiencing, what has happened. So when you interact, a patient interacts with the doctor, he describes, okay, from a data in image, first we have to understand what are the content in an image, okay, that is descriptive analytics. Then what they do, the doctor diagnoses. Okay, if this could be of this variant, it could be this, and he'll be asked, and the doctor will start asking some questions. And likewise, in our analytics, we should try to get information from the image, why did it happen? Okay, that is called diagnostic analytics. Okay, then the doctor may predict, okay, he has got a, he or she has got a fever. It could be typhoid, it could be malaria, or whatever variants of fever. He just does, uh, predictive analytics and then you remember you see the doctor writes a prescription to make us to recover from the disease is called prescriptive analytics okay prescriptive analytics how can we make it to recover okay so these are the, this is just an example to make you understand the difference between the descriptive analytics the diagnostic analytics the predictive analytics and the prospective analytics okay it is not with the data science just for us to understand things okay is it clear what had happened why did it happen what will happen and how did you get the fever why have you got the fever how to what is the fever is about how to make you recover from it okay the same this is just an example right this is a, make this example strong in your mind so you'll be understanding when we go into different analytics as our uh, principal had asked today what are the profiles where people can be after learning python okay so i added this you could be a software engineer diagnosing you could become a web developer one of the intern is working in my company is project you can be a python developer devops could be a research analytics of any domain. It could be physics, it could be chemistry, uh, it could be biology, okay? Or it could be even space. Even people from space are getting trained. Okay, a data analyst, it could be a consultant, predicting on the stock, on the mob, product manager, it could be a data scientist and a machine learning engineer, okay? Those are some profiles that you could have. So these are the basic manipulations that we are going to have and hands on today. Okay, what are the common, when you want to work with an image, you should know how to really to work with an image. Okay, first is to display from an image onto a portal. 
Okay, and second is basic manipulations that we're going to see. Before we go into analytics, we should know what are the basic manipulations. How to crop an image using Python, flip it, rotate it, segment it. So I told you within a disease, only a part has been affected and only the part we're going to segment. Classifying, feature extraction, image restoration and image recognition. Okay, these are some few of the image processing. And you may ask why Python? Python is a general purpose language, all right? It does not have much syntax, okay? You need to work with uh, the uh, finding solution to the problem, okay? The who who works with Python is called Gudio Van Rosen. Okay, Gudio Van Rosen, when he started working with that, then he started thinking not only me working, I want everybody to contribute. So Python is every second, it is extensible, okay? People start working and they make as a Python package and they, push it into the Python uh, package index, all right? So we can use the Python packages and we can be, we'll be able to start working on with that. So why Python for image processing? It's an excellent choice, okay? There are hundreds and hundreds of packages wherein you can use your Python for image processing, okay? The free availability, it is free, of course, you need not pay for anything. Okay, so today we are going to see about the basic uh, first five packages of Python, for especially for image processing, all right, because it is image analytics for Python. So SkyKit image, NumPy. NumPy, it stands for numerical Python. SkyPy, it stands for scientific Python. Pill, it stands for Pill O, it's a package. And the final one is OpenCV Python. Okay. It's called computer vision. So these are the five packages we are going to see. So let me start with the first package of image analytics, okay, which is called SkyKit image. Okay, It's an open source Python package that works with NumPy array. Okay, So NumPy array is a data type. I'll show you how it works. Okay, here using this package, there are multiple functionalities available, but we'll see one or two. It implements algorithms and utilizes for use in research, for educational purpose, and also for industrial applications. It's a very, very simple package, okay? And it's uh, has got a lot of people who contribute towards it, okay? Using this package, we are going to work on, okay, work on a simple image processing called as how to filter images, okay? Filtering of images. Before going on to that, I hope my screen is seen. All right. Okay. Are you all using um, systems with connected with the internet? Log in to your Gmail. Yes, thank you. Log in to your Gmail and give colab.research.com. Log in to your Gmail. I've given the link colab.research.google.com. We'll get an image like this. Click new notebook. Step one everybody, you're using your systems. It could be laptops or PC, whatever it is. It's okay. First, log into your Gmail and go to colab.research.google.com. And I've given that on the chat. And clicking on here, you can uh, change it as image analytics. Is that a model? What it does? Whatever you want to have, you can have it. Once you're logged into your Gmail, and you have clicked on colab.research.google.com. Third step, if you have renamed, this is called IPYNB, which is called Intractor Python Notebook. Using this, we are going to work on with that. Maybe some of you would have worked with Colabs. For some, it will be new. It's a free software given by Google to work on analytics. Once you have done till this, just type on the chat done. Just type done. Just 
So it would be easy for me to move on. Yes, only one. I've responded. Go to your Gmail. All right. Then uh, click on another new tab. Click on collab.research.google.com. Thank you, Harshini, ma'am. Just rename it. I want everybody to respond, please. It's it's not a webinar session. It's a full hands-on session. Though you know or you don't know about Python, do not worry about it. You'll be able to do it. I'm able to guide you through. If you have got difficulties also, you can unmute or put on to the chat. Nilo for ma'am done. Are there so many of you are here? Let's be quick. Only three of you have responded out of 35, maybe 33. If you have got any difficulties, kindly let me know. I've got response from Usha, Harshini, Nilofa. There are many of you here. If there's any difficulties also, don't worry. Unmute and ask or because if it is delayed, it will be delayed for everyone. Yes, thank you, Sita, ma'am. Nitya Ananda, ma'am, also. Others, please. Yes, thank you, Jos, ma'am. Thank you, John Samuel. Okay. Okay. So this is how uh, we, this is the tool you have worked on. Anybody has worked with Colabs before, yes or no? Just type Y if you have already worked. Type N if you have not worked with Colabs. Thank you, Usham. I'm happy to see. Yes, thank you. Most of your work. Two of you, three of you. No. Yes. All right. Okay. No. Can you please repeat the steps? Go to Gmail. Okay. First step, go to your Gmail. Second step, open a new tab and type colab.research.google.com you'll get an environment like this click on new notebook and rename it if you click here you'll be able to rename okay so the first package that we're going to work on is the sky kit image okay so can you see onto my screen so here I'm going to use another package called matplotlib. Okay, what is matplotlib? It's a package used for data visualization. Okay, for plotting things. Okay, there are different packages in Python. You can get the list of packages pypypi.org. So this is called Python package index. Okay. There are multiple packages available in Python. You can just see how many releases, how many uses. Okay, see Python kit for acoustic data, even for sound engineers, they can work with Python. Okay, to SQL server description. Okay, so what we want, you can just browse the projects and you can get what topic that you're going to work on with. You want to develop a chat, chat box, then it will tell you what are the packages 
that is needed for a chat box okay so we will be a little getting deviated if i move on to it all right so first package we are going to use is called matplotlib okay matplotlib is the package used for plotting your results so i'm going to import this package called import matplotlib.pyplot and i'm aliasing it as plt okay uh, i'm using or going to use the package called matplotlib dot five plot okay somebody's mic is on you can mute it okay so using matplotlib.pyplot as plt i am instead of going to call the entire package like this i'm going to call it as plt okay i'm just aliasing it so we have a name at home we have a name at our college right so instead of calling the full name we call by short names at home so i'm going to import this package called matplotlib instead that inside it i'm going to use pyplot i'm just going to use it for plotting as plt Next from SkyKit image, okay, it's a, a package for image processing. From Sky SK image, I'm going to import data, comma filters. I told right this first section we are going to the first package. I'm going to work on with image filtering, and inside the SkyKit image, there are lots of, lots of uh, data. They themselves have given a data set. Inside the SkyKit image, I've imported this package called data. Which carries lot of images. Okay, so in, inside that package, I've used coins data dot coins of. So I'm I'm integrating it. I'm importing into this variable called image. Okay, and using this plt dot i am show, I want to show the image. I'm going to show this image here. Then I'm going to type. I told right all the data. The images will be of the type numpy array. Okay. So I'm going to type what is the type will tell me what is the data type of the image. Type of image is numpy dot in the array. So this is the image. This is the image, the data dot coins. Can you see this coins? And then you get numpy dot in the, this is the type and I'm showing the image. I repeat the steps again. I'm importing matplotlib for plotting it, plt dot showing the image as plt for visualization. From SK image, I'm importing two packages, data I told. In SkyKit image, there are different things that we can do. For the first SkyKit image, we're going to work with image filtering. So I've not started with filters, but I'm importing data and filters using data.coins. After you type it, I'll show how it works, what are the different data available inside SK image. Okay, I'm going to import one data set called as coins. I'm going to have it into this variable called image. plt.im show, I'm going to show that image. Okay, this is what I want to show that image. So plt dot there's an inbuilt function to show the image. Okay, I am show is image show of this variable where I've stored it, and I'm typing the uh, type data type of the image. Can you all try once you have if you have got an output like this, you can type done, or if you have got any doubts, um, kindly let me know. Thank you, Felicia, ma'am. You got both the image and the data type. Thank you, ma'am. Well done. Others? Thank you, uh, Nityananda, ma'am. Even if you have doubts, please do ask. Mm. 
Are there many people here? Yes, thank you, Ushan, ma'am. Others? Once you have typed it, click this here, it will run. There are many people, Kishori, Maharajan, Manju, ma'am, Manoj, Reddy, Sir, Murali, Madhi, Abhirami, ma'am, Sai, Vishwam, Parun, Vimal, Thurai, Manuel. If you have got doubts also, please do ask. It's a hands-on session. It's not a webinar to sit, listen. Please respond. If you have got doubts also, no problem. So, okay. So, this is this package is called SkyKit image. Okay, this is the link. So, whenever you are going to work with image processing in Python, this package will be using it. Okay, can you see the last release is on December 2020? So, uh, they keep advancing it. Thank you, Nilo, for ma'am. Okay, uh, they keep working on with that. Okay, will be. So, what are the different packages that you can work? Okay. This are the things on the data. Okay. So, I told you, right, inside data, there are different images. Okay. So, data. Uh, like scientific image, a specific image, the general purpose images. Okay, so then what are the operations they do it on block views and generating structural themes? Okay, histograms. We are going to work with this filtering now. And also it works with contour, the edges to be fine, the canny edge. Okay, these are the different operations that you can do using sk image okay it's just called a sky kit image there are different things that you can do on with that okay for for now and um, we have just loaded the image okay are you able to understand till now at plot look for visualization i've imported data inside the data there are different images i've used uh, uh, coins okay sk image data the different images that they will be available inside data can you see here i have used coins like that you have got brain uh, astronaut cat cell these are inbuilt data so i've used this one i've used data.coins like that, different images are there for mitosis, for kidney, for lily. Okay, these are the different data sets available inside, inside your SkyCat image. Okay, so I have just used one image and the data type. And what is the size of that image? Since I've imported all the values, data dot coins into this parameter called uh, variable called image, I can further use image dot size. What is the size? I told it's an array which has rows and columns. So this is three or three rows and three. You see it as an image, and the data type inside is it's a numpy array. See it, your image will be like this. Can you see? That's what that is where it is showing here. What is the type of the image? It's a numpy n-dimensional array. Okay. This is the size when you multiply these two, you get this value. Okay, so the rows and columns are multiplied, and we get an image dot size, image dot shape. Okay, then our rows and columns. This is your numpy array, and then um, there are different filters that we can use 
using SK image filters. The first filter I'm using is a Sobel filter. Okay, can you see using the filters, I'll be able to find the edges of the coin. Okay, the next is a Laplacian, Laplace filter. But here the images is more predominant. And next is a, a median filter. So each of the filter outputs are different. Okay, each of the filter the outputs are different. So if you go into uh, SK image uh, filters, there are different filters available. I've tried a few. Can you see here? These are the different filters. Gaussian, I've tried Laplacian, Median, Rabbit, I'm not trying. You can try it. The Sobel, finding an edges of an image according to the functionality. Okay. According to the for finding an edges on an image, you use Sobel filter. Okay. So when you use your median, returns the local median of an image. When you use uh, uh, finds edges of an image using Laplacian operator. Okay. So if, if each and every filters, they have got their own specific uh, functionality. If you see about Sobel, can you see, can you see on the image? It's very clear the edges. If according to your analytics, what you wish to do, you should use your according filters. Okay. Many even at homes we use like for tea, we have a tea filter. If you want to wash the vessels, sorry, wash the vegetables, then we have a bigger filter. For a juice, we have a different filters, right? So according to the application, you will be doing it. Now let's try with the image size, uh, image dot size, image dot shape, and image. Once you have done it, uh, let me know on your chat whether it's done. Could you give some more information on data dot coins? Okay, we are working with the data on coins, ma'am, as we work on with that. After the end of it, I'll again ask if you have doubts, so we are done. I've done image.size, image.shape, and image. Okay. So this is how you can visualize now. It's looking like a NumPy array. But when you use a matplotlib, the package is used for plotting images, where you using your functionality called I am, I am show, we're able to visualize the image. Okay. So now we'll move on to the filters. Let's try with the first filter called Sobel filter, which is used for detecting the edges of an image. If you're watching in YouTube also, you can give your doubts on the chat. All right. <clears throat> Once you have done, you can give done on the chat. So it should be easy for me to progress. Mm -hmm. Let me check chat. Uh, done, done, so well done. Thank you, Harshanima. So you're able to get it, right? You're able to get it. Nice to see. Now, the same thing, which instead of so well, we are going to use Laplace filters. See here, the inside image was different. 
but here the filter output description. So when you go into Laplacian, finding the edges of an image using Laplace operator. So which operator uh, you find it better, you will be able to use it. Right, try with Once you have done, let me know. Thank you, Laplace done. Okay, great to know. Now we move on to the median filter. Median filter. Hmm, I'm done, thank you. I would have renamed the edges, like it is edges. For the next, it's edges one, because in Python, it keeps uh, naming it on to on. And for the next filter, I've given edges two. Don't just copy and paste it. So one, a name will be again, only one variable will be rewriting it again and again since it is different filters. Yes, any doubts, please? Have you all tried? If you've done, you can try the next uh, data. You can try for astronaut or camera. Like data.coins, I told, right? There are different things. I've used data.astronaut. This is an image of an astronaut. And also try different filters, private filters. This is an astronaut image. These are inbuilt images. And this image is camera. I used coins, camera and image. This is a camera image. Uh, for astronaut, you can try. You can try the different filters for astronaut and let me know, please.
Okay, you can click the plus code here. It's image one. I used it just one, two, three. So it's a two dimensional array, so you don't get it here. I'll tell about this a little later. All right. Okay, so now you're able to understand about how to do image filtering. Okay, so importing matplotlib, then importing data. There are different data I showed you. There are different filters, and we used Sobel filter, Laplacian, and Median filter for coins. Any doubts till now? Please respond. If you have got doubts, type yes. No, type no. Are able able to understand the flow? If you have doubt, have doubts, type yes. Otherwise, type no. Thank you, Harshini, ma'am. Okay. So the original image and the filtered image. According to each filters, thank you, Abhirami, ma'am. Okay. So the first package we work with is K. A sky kit image. Okay, inside sky kit, there is various things. Just during this workshop, I'll introduce about each and every package and one functionalities from each. All right. Now, next we move into this package called NumPy. I told you, right, the first image we took is data.coins. When we took data.coins off, and then when we stored into the image, what was the type of it? It's just an NumPy array. So NumPy array plays a vital role in all statistic information like Laplacian, Fourier tree, CDs, okay, all kinds of differentiation, integration, everything can be done using NumPy package, okay. NumPy is one of the core library in Python program. It supports for arrays, okay. N-dimensional array, it's not only two-dimensional, it also supports N-dimensional array. An image is essentially a standard thing for pixels of data, okay. If you want to slice an image, Okay. Slicing plays a very vital role in health act, healthcare analytics. If you want to mask something and then see, I told you about the mask that we wear, and that also works with that. Right? We started researching with that, right? So fancy indexing, modifying, and images can be loaded using SK image and displayed using Matplotlib. Now, if I want to mask, okay, if you want to mask, I want to mask an image. So first in SkyKit image, we work with image filtering. The functionality we work with is called image filtering. And the NumPy array, we are going to work the functionality called as image masking. Okay, image masking. This is the original image. I'm masking according to the colors. Okay, from import NumPy, from SkyKit image import data, I've already imported it. Matplotlib, this are, I'm loading the camera data. Okay, the type is, the type of the data is a NumPy array. I'm masking less than 87, whatever the pixels values is less than 87, masking into 255, and then I'm going to show. So the black colors, you can see how it has been masking it. So in image two, I have this variable, uh, data.camera, this is my data set. Can you see? I told right the image data set is of uh, uh, NumPy array. So I'm going to mask values less than 87 into this variable. Okay, mask. And uh, I'm going to, whatever I'm having the less than 87, I'm going to make it to be as 255. So can you see wherever it is black, it is converted masked into white. All right. So here I've given less than 37. According to the variable values, whatever I want to mask, let us mask it. This is the astronaut image. All right. So this is the concept of image masking. Okay. Now let's load this image, image to is equal to data dot camera. We've got showing that image and then we move on into the mask. Uh, according to the pixel values now, I want to make that black. 
and to the right. Any values you could choose. Have you tried this? Uh, this is image too, already you know about it. Try with this masking. So the value ranges should be between 0 to 255 and I'm taking values less than 87, I'm masking it to white. That is why the color changes from black to white. done you can also try yeah thank you everybody completed i don't know the entire strength are you working or not it's enhancing session okay This is for another thing. I, I can show you for 2D also. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to use another thing, cat. I imported data, right? Yeah, Chelsea is another data, okay. They can I can have it as type of cat, then plt dot I am show of cat. So this is an image of a cat. This is also from the data set of this image that. So here what I'm going to do, 
I'm going, it's uh, RGB, okay? So if I give like cat dot shape, last time it was showing rose, right? It's a 3D, okay? Red, green, and the blue, okay? The, it's, it is a three channels of the red, or the green, and the blue, okay? The RGB of this image, okay? The RGB of this image, all right? And then I'm going to uh, set the grid pixels so almost of uh, the cat value 10 comma 20 sorry the pixels okay you can see when i give between the range of 10 comma pixels, what it is, the red, the green, and the blue, right? The red, green, and the blue. And I'm going to have another range between uh, 50 to 60, sorry. And this is the range, okay? And this is the uh, range, okay? What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, make this cat, 50 comma 60 0 i'm going to initialize it to 0 okay cat 50 to uh, 60 i'm initializing it to the black color 0 okay the next the next set of array 50 comma 61 so the red green and blue first is the red i'm making it 0 I'm making it green and then blue. the red, green, and the blue. Okay. Here is where your red, green, and blue ranges, they exist, okay? And then I'm going to have it as cat of uh, reddish, some variable I'm giving, which is equal to uh, 0, 255, 0. And then a plt dot, I am show of, Cat. Can you see the color, how it has been changed after masking? So when I have taken this image, this is the original cat image. Okay. So cat uh, data dot Chelsea is the cat image. Somebody's mic is on. Any doubts? Somebody's mic is on. Any doubts? Okay. Uh, cat dot Chelsea, what is the type of it? Okay, so I am dot show, I'm showing the cat image, and this is the size the red, green, and the blue. So I'm just making it okay using this pixels also, we can mask it. And then what I did for the cat red, green, and blue, wherever the value is greater than 160, I'm having it into this variable called reddish. Okay, then cat of reddish is equal to zero red, green, and blue. I'm making it green. Other things I'm making it blue, red and blue as zero. And when I show it, can you see the green color is more emphasized? Yes. Okay. Can we try you? You I just uh, put what you need to try alone. Just try this and let me know whether you're getting it. Doubts? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Ushana. Are you able to follow? It's an handsome session. It's a session where we really need to work on with. Other sessions is listening. This is not a listening session. 
That's where we work on. We learn something new and you'll find it interesting. It's like you see a lot of uh, YouTube videos, right? We see a lot of YouTube videos on recipes. But really when we do, only we know how it works out. Okay, I'm done. Let me have the responses on the chat, please. Working. Everybody done? Can we move on? There are many people, but I'm not getting responses from Kishore, Emmanuel, Harshraj, Dinesh, Anush, Tarun, William Durai. Can you please respond? Are you all there? It's not a live session, it's actually a virtual session. So you import it, your data, and then start working on it. Thank you, Felicia, ma'am. What about others? Have you all got the output? Okay. Now moving on to the next. The original image masked and I showed you about first was only 2D image, right? And next it's a 3D one. And then when you take SkyPy, okay, SkyPy is the next package, which is called scientific Python, okay? Like NumPy, which stands for numerical Python, SkyPy, it stands for scientific Python. Okay, what are the manipulations that you can do? Basic image manipulations that you can use. This image is called using this package it's called for linear and non-linear filtering, binary morphology, okay, beast by interpretation and object measurement. Okay, now we are going to use for blurring. Okay, first in SkyCAD image, we started working with image filtering. How do you filter an image? And second, using NumPy, we work with image masking. We work with image masking. And the third thing that we're going to work with Skypa is called as a Gaussian filter. Using this, you remember what is the functionality of Sobel filter in Skypkit image? Then on your answer, please, quick. Using Skypkit image, what manipulations, what functionalities of image we did using Sobel filter? Yes. What was the functionality? We got the edges of an image. Remember the edges of the coins. Okay. Here using Gaussian filter, we are going to work with image blurring. Okay. We're going to work with image blurring using SkyPy. Okay. Using SkyPy. So now moving on to our, uh, uh, from SkyPy, I'm importing, because using SkyKit image, we imported the data, right? Now using SkyPy, I'm going to import MISC and ND image, okay? So uh, here my data is all into this uh, header called as MISC, okay? And this is the image. So MISC.face, I'm showing it. And the size, can you see? It's a... NumPy array, the shape, and I multiply this, I get this. The type is NumPy array, the shape, the size, and the type. And this is my NumPy array because it's three dimensional, it is shown like this. And this is my image. Okay, I'm going to take this image using blurring concept. I'm going to blur using Gaussian filter. So using ND image, okay, I've imported ND image, right? Gaussian filter, I'm going to make the sigma three, having a blurred image. 
when I'm giving sigma 7, it's a very blurred image. So I'll show you the blurred image in the image of Gaussian filter. Can you see? Little blurred. But when I give very blurred, where I have got my sigma value as a, a 7, when I have the sigma value 7, it's very blurred. Can you see? Using Gaussian well filter, I'm using the concept for analytics for blurring. For some image also, we could define and blur when you come into healthcare analytics, and some will be clear. So which portion you want to have more sharpened, you can have it sharpened. Where you want to blur, you can blur it on. Can we try this? So let's try uh, blurring of an image using Gaussian filter and SkyKit image. First, let's import the data set. Let's try the, these five lines. Once you try it, I'll show it to you again. From SkyPy, import MISE, comma ND image. Then face is equal to MISE dot face. After this, I'll show you the different data available there. And then PLT dot I am show of face. Are you all there? Are you trying? We are going to complete with the next 20 minutes. Any doubts, please unmute and ask. You have done, once you have done. Yes, thank you, Nitya, ma'am. What about others? Once done. Should I need to wait or shall I move? Try with the blurred and the very blurred using Gaussian filter. You remember, we have imported uh, MISC, I tell about it after this, an ND image. And using the ND, ND image stands for N dimensional image, ND image dot Gaussian underscore filter. The face is the variable where I have the face of this. Sigma is three is blurred image. When the sigma is seven, it becomes very blurred image. Try it and then display it and see.
Okay, done. Okay, thank you. Now we will uh, I'll tell you about the Skype Pi. Okay, the Skype Pi image. Skype Pi also is a factor for using for image processing using Python. So for displaying, for filtering, this is what we have done, okay? The filtering is what we have done using Sigma, okay? And also it's not only for blurring, you can also use for sharpening also, okay? For sharpening, the same thing. So if I give my value Sigma as one and alpha is 30, it sharpens, okay? And also for noise image, for Gaussian filter, for median filter. So for each of the filters, you can see how it works. And also for morphologies, okay? How do you extract features, okay? Here, if I'm going to use Sobel filter, how I'm going to extract my features, okay? For edge detection. Okay, feature detection for edge detection. For segmenting, the black and the white segmenting also, you can use your uh, Skype pie, okay, for using your Skype pie images, okay. And also I said it is also used for measurement, objects to be measured. How do you measure an object, okay? For measuring of an object also, you can use the Skype pie image, okay? Skype pie uh, image processing. Okay, the basic operations that you can use using SkyPy is feature extraction, image filtering. In filtering, you can either do a sharpening of an image or you can do a blurring. The blurring is what we have tried now. Have you all got the output? Yes? Thank you. Okay, now moving on to the next is PIL, which is standard for PIL, which stands for Python Image Library, Python Image Library. So how do you manipulate it, okay? So for filtering with the convolution kernels for color space conversions, okay? How are we going to do your color space conversions, okay? okay. So how do you enhance an image using PIL, okay? So for from PIL, which is called for Python image library. PIL stands for Python image library. From PIL import image comma image filters. Okay, I'm going to import, I want to import an image. It's called image.jpg. I'm going to show the image. All right, and then I'm going to enhance it. Okay, I'm going to enhance the image. I'm going to enhance the concentration. So this is the original image. This is the enhanced image. All right. So, so here, when you want to use an image, okay, when you want to use an image, okay, I need to mount my, because all my data will be on my Google Drive, listen carefully. So from google.colab, import drive, okay, I'm going to import drive, I'm going to mount my drive, okay, I'm having this image 11.png, okay, into my Google Drive. So now from I uh, import numpy as np from pill import image and image filters. I am imported the image. Okay, what is the type of the image? And since it is a PNG image, I'm converting the PNG image into a numpy array. Okay, first uh, listen carefully, then I'll give you time to work on with that. This is the image. Okay, then now here I'm increasing the contrast of the image. So I'll show a demo of it and then we we'll move on to open CV.
How many of you used Jupyter Notebook? Yes, no, no, yes. You can give your responses on the chat. Now we have done. Able to follow? Okay. Then mounting of it, we will uh, see about uh, pill examples. So this I'm running using, can you see the original image and the enhanced image? Can you see? This is the original image. This is the enhanced image. This is the original image and this is the enhanced image. Uh, I'm running it using uh, Jupyter uh, Notebook. Okay, from fill image, image filter, image level, I am dot show, then it shows the image, and enhanced image is this. All right. Okay. So today's session, we worked with uh, different image or web and all we'll be using images. All right, we started with the package of at plotlib and skykit image. We started working with uh, image filtering. Yes, we started working with the uh, image filtering. What was the package we used for image filtering? Do you remember? Answers on chat, please. For image filtering, what package of Python we used? Hello, you can unmute and answer. Few of us are here. Sky image, ma'am. Uh, sky image sky for kit. image uh, filter. Uh, okay. There we use three types of filter called soap filter, the median, and the, the plus key. For the next performance, we have done is masking image. For masking, what package we used? Num for masking. NumPy we use for masking and image. Okay, we have done it for 2D for red, green, and blue. Okay, but in the cat, we have seen only with the uh, blue, uh, the green color, how to emphasize it. Okay, and then the third package we worked with was type pi. The third package that we worked was with sky pi. This is about uh, this and uh, yeah, then uh, in SkyPy, we have done the functionality of blurring an image, okay? The blurring an image. Then using Pillows package, we have worked with, what did we do with Pillows package? How to increase the contrast, enhance an image, okay? How to enhance an image. So today we have seen about SkyKit, NumPy, SkyPy, Fill package, about the four functionalities that we have done. So tomorrow we'll start with the open CV. Okay, we'll start with open CV. So tomorrow when we come, I want the participants, okay, participants uh, to speak for a minute. What are the operations that you think that we can do using Python image or just with an image? I have an image, remember this image for the self care. I think this could be done. Is my question clear? Is my question clear? Yes. Okay, you find out, okay, you find out. If you don't think whether it is existing, though it could be existing, we have not tried, right? If you have not tried, ma'am, with this image, I think I could detect this disease. With this image, I think this information, I could get it. Whether it, whether it could be done or not is the second thing. Tomorrow we are going to share our ideas or the different ideas that we have, okay? So different ideas and how 
with an image passing in healthcare sector you can think i'm with this healthcare sector in healthcare with this image i think i'll be able to do this okay so featuring the face recognition it could be or it could be predicting of a, a disease maybe the walking style you can think they may have get something right the disease or not or whatever it is okay you think with this image i think i'll be able to it's just we are going to explore different ideas that we have don't uh, don't think whether it is existing or not what what comes into your mind what comes into your mind with this image analytics can it be done especially using the uh, medical uh, healthcare analytics okay it could be a scheduling of an appointment of a doctor or it could be detecting about uh, uh, some diseases from this image can this be done okay and this is my uh youtube channel okay and share me i've done even for covid 19 uh, the data analysis is python i will share uh my youtube link you can find it out okay on python or whatever things on digital classroom i think it should be of uh, some use for you all right Any doubts in today's session? Participants, any doubts in today's session? So we have seen about the basic, whether you're able to understand the flow, yes, no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. okay so uh, uh, like to can you share the fill coding, ma'am, once again? The sure, same sure. Fill. I can fill, fill, yeah, yes. Can you see? Yes. Uh, ah, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. I got it. Thank you. You got it. Thank ah, you. Thank I've you. got some error in that, so just want to check okay. it. Thank you, ma'am. Now have you got it? Yeah, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you ma'am. So any doubts in today's session? Any doubts in today's session? So we started with image analytics where it will be working on and because without knowing the basic manipulation tomorrow we'll start working on with the data all right is the flow okay am i fast am i slow that able to get into it can you please respond uh Shall we wind up the session, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. We could wind up the session. Tomorrow we will meet at 10. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Participants, kindly come out with your ideas of doing an image analytics. Each of you will be given a minute or so to explain if you want to present it on your slide. That is also okay. Or you want to just say it, that also would be fine. Okay, please come back with your ideas. It's over to the organizers. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, participants. Hope you will be clear with all the concepts and functionalities. Let's meet with the same enthusiasm tomorrow at 10 a.m. And the feedback link will be shared for both the days tomorrow at, 10, at the end of the session. Thank you, participants. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.